Hello, welcome back to Learn Economia. Today we are going to look into the idea of Tobin's two ratio. Let's have a look into this. The Tobin's Q ratio is also known in the name of Tobin's Q. So this would be equal to the market value of company divided by its assets replacement cost. So Tobin's Q would be equal to market value divided by replacement cost very simple now when can you have a situation of equilibrium whenever market value is equal to replacement cost market value whenever this equals the replacement cost this scenario is identified as equilibrium and here the top and skew ratio is something that expresses the relationship between market valuation as well as the intrinsic value or we can see that it involves estimation regarding whether a given business is overvalued or undervalued just by looking on to this concept of q ratio we can see whether there is overvaluation or undervaluation overvaluation or undervaluation we will see how this happens so uh this kind of uh top in skew ratio usually involves various various methods uh to be used to find out the q ratio value some other important method that you can use here uh involve uh the equity book value divided by equity market value equity book value divided by equity market value why do we go for this definition when we have another important method why do we go for this formula when you have uh, the uh another important formula uh, which involves dividing the market value of a firm with the replacement value or replacement cost because usually replacement cost of total assets is something that is very much difficult to calculate and for the very same reason in such a scenario you can adopt this equation to find tobin's q now how can we interpret the values of to tobin's q ratio i told you in the very beginning that it helps us to have an understanding regarding whether an asset is overvalued or undervalued overvalued or undervalued for example if the q value tobin's q value if it is something between 0 and 1 or if it is something equal to 1 or uh, less than 1 so that means if it is less than 1 if q value is less than 1 that means the cost that is involved to replace the asset would be greater than the value of the stock in such an instance you can see a situation of undervaluation undervaluation of asset similarly what happens if q is having 
a value which is greater than one. So in this case of a value less than one, there is undervaluation. On the other hand, if the value is greater than one, a Q value is greater than one, it means it means overvaluation of assets. Why? This is because here the stock is more expensive when it when it is compared to the replacement cost of the asset. So for the very same reason as I have told you in the very beginning, whenever you have the Tobin Q ratio value, you can have an understanding regarding whether it is overvaluation or undervaluation. Now let's come to the two top in skew ratio when in the case of a market. As I told you, this always helps us to have some meaning with respect to valuation of assets. It would act as a driving factor behind the investment decision. Whomever is going to make an investment, all the prospective investors can go for top in skew ratio and see how it goes. So this would help the company to have a kind of, this would help the prospective investor, whether it is a company or an individual, whatever, or whomever it is, can go for a kind of, uh, kind of prediction. So when we apply this concept to the market as a whole, we can have an idea whether an entire market would be relatively overproad or undervalued. So, as I've told you in the case of uh, market case also, the replacement value by market capitalization of all the companies. Here, since it is a market case we are considering, we have to take into consideration all the companies' status. So, you take the replacement value of all the companies divided by the market value or of all companies so this would give you the two ratio here also you can see that if the value is less than one that means it would be undervalued then if it is greater than one greater than one that means it would be overvalued that is how it goes. So that's all about the idea of Tobin skew ratio. Hope you could understand the concept of Tobin skew ratio. Thank you for watching. I request you to like, share and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Also, you can be a part of our Telegram community uh, by clicking on the link given in the description box. Also, you can download the Learn Economy app. For all that also, you'll be able to join by clicking onto the link given in the description box. That's it. Thank you for watching.